Hello everyone, it's me Connie, and I am fixing to make a cover, and um, it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's my favorite. So, uh, what I'm going to do is make this cover and um, bring y'all along with me. Um, I have not put this yet in my Etsy store. But this is some paper I put together. I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. I love it. And then here is the inside. This is an old ledger that I have. And um, so I put a little bit of something something on it. And um, this is so pretty. But all the rest of it I will be showing you soon because it will be on my Etsy listing. But for now we have this. And I'm going to put a cover together, and I want it to take you along with me. So here is a piece of, um, this is a piece of um, Tyvek. Spit it out, Connie. And I put um, tape on one side. I have a one inch spine with um, chipboard, okay? It's a pretty good chipboard. And so what I want to do first is ink up these um, pages on the inside and out. And the reason why I do it on the inside as well is so that if by chance I don't um, line it up when I'm sticking the back to the front, then um, it doesn't show up so much. So it's just a little something something I like to do. And, of course, this is my favorite paper. Oh, my goodness. I save it for, um, I just save it for journal covers because it has went up in price. But the texture of it is amazing. So, there's that. So, look how pretty. Oh, it feels so good. Let me show you real quick. This is the paper I'm talking about. This is the paper I'm talking about. So you can see it's 80 pound. Vellum Bristol cover paper by Spring Hill Digitals. If you can see that, you can do a screenshot. And um, that is like the ultimate best. If you like a little bit of texture, then you're going to love this paper. I'm not kidding. It is the absolute positively to me anyway. My opinion, it's the best. It's because I love it. I love it. So I'm inking the insides as well, like I said. So if they don't line up just perfectly, you won't see any white edges whatsoever. And I don't want to see any white edges. So there's that. And um, I have been busy all day behind that laptop working on paper. Some digital paper and I am just beyond excited about it and um, can't wait to share it with you so this is just a little taste of what's to come it's very very nice so um, I will be putting some of the pages of that on the inside of this I need to replace my lighting because it's casting a shadow and I know y'all can see it but I'm gonna have to work on that I'm gonna have to work on that for sure I don't know why um, I probably moved it because um, I have shelving up above me and sometimes if I need to get behind the shelving I move the light so there's that probably so there's that probably the deal probably what happened but it'll be okay so oh and I think I'm excited because I think um, the inside will be done with scripture cards of course I always add uh, scripture cards to my, my journals but I'm also going to be using some of um, wait I want to ink up this I want to use um, um, some of Genevieve Designs 
embellishments and stuff that she has. I'm going to be putting a lot of that in here. I'm excited because I love her work. Let me uh, move these lights a little and see what happens. Did that help any at all? <laughs> Did that help any at all? Let's see. There's that. And there's, whoop, let's see, there's that. Okay, so here we go. So this is going to be the back. So I'm going to set that aside. And this is the front. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to put this right here and the reason why I don't go all the way to the edge of the paper is because I do like to sew around there and this um, tape will gunk up your needle on your sewing machine just just a little FYI so I'm going to make this cover and um, go from there and we'll see what happens so there's that there's that so there's that all right there is that okay all right now let me um take this big piece off this is six inch it's a little costly so i'm real careful on how much i use it i am just real cautious of how i use my products because they are you know, at a price. They do have a price. They do have a price. All right, we're gonna go down with it right there. There we go. Now let me just poke that. And here's the thing with this, is that it will not tear. And that is the cool part um so on the creases of it it won't it won't tear um i'm just i just love it so let me um let me tell you how big this paper is real quick this is um almost 10 and three quarters in length and the reason why the size is off because when you print um when you make a print, it always has that little white border. And um, I usually put both sheets together when I cut the trim off, so it's going to be the same size. And then the width of it is almost eight and a fourth, okay? So what I need to do now is um, put this one inch spine in the middle. If I can find the middle, we'll be doing really, really good if I can find the middle. So I am going to fix this in such a way where I know where the middle is and it's right there. Right there. And then it should be pretty close to that right there okay so I found the middle I found the middle let me get you up here where I can show y'all what's going on so there's the middle and I will put wait a second that ain't right but all right let me um, erase that because that is not right. Not right at all. So the middle, I really, I'm, 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 I am heard y'all. Y'all were going, Connie, Connie, that's not right. That's not right. This paper must not be straight. I'm just not going to um, sweat the small stuff, that's for sure. All right, let's see. Okay, I found it. That should be the center right there. All right, so what I need to do, I hate math. I hate everything about math. I'm not good at it. 
and to figure these things out is like cray cray to me. Okay, a little over four and a half. Oh, that's, I mean, four and three quarters. All right. Let's see. Yep, that's about right. Okay, so what I want to do, I do believe, is make a little line so I kind of know about where this is going to go. All right, let's take one side off of the sticky tape, double-sided adhesive. Let's take that off, and then we can put this down. I think, is it the same exact, or is it a little shorter? It's a little short, so we're gonna go like this. I think, I think, I think. There. There. That should be correct. It's close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, so now, now what I need to do is put, um, um, let me see what I got on here. Okay, let me clean that mess up. Okay, so I've got this. And then I'm going to add, now what I want to do is put glue on here, which, whoopsie daisy, blessed. It's a reminder. That's just a little um, manna from heaven falling down saying, don't forget, you're blessed. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this glue, which I need to clean the top off, and I am going to, and I know I've made videos with this before. I know I did. I know I did. But we're doing another one. Just because sometimes I want to do that. Just because I do. All right, let's take this sticky off. And then I'm gonna put some glue. I'm gonna turn this paper a little bit. It may be a little bit out of shot. There we go. I need to get me another blue, glue bottle. Glue, glue bottle. Ah, much better. There was a little bit of gunk in there, I guess. I'm going to just glue this up like crazy. Glue, glue. Perfect. And then I will glue the inside. There we go. Okay, here we go. So I wanna glue this right here, right along there. And I'm going to glue all of this. I'm gonna to put tons of glue on here, just so you know. But, you know, since I'm sewing around the edges, it's not gonna go anywhere, but, you know, it's just one of those things. This is the cover, and it's getting a lot of action going open and close, open and close, open and close. So we wanna make sure that it is covered very, very well. So let's do the other side. I'm gonna go down the crease right there, and then we're gonna go over and over it, just because I want a good coverage of glue. I try not to go off of here because I'm gonna sew around that, and I do not wanna get my needle all messed up. Let me tell you what, I've been there, done that, and it's not fun cleaning it up. It's just not fun. And by the time I squash it all down and smoosh it, smoosh it, smoosh it, it will um, 
seep a little and stuff like that. So I'm sure it's going to get there, but you know, it's it'll be okay. It's not going to be nothing but a big deal. A big a deal. Nothing but a uh, piece of cake. We got this easy day, like my son would say. My son says easy day. So that's that's the way we're going to look at it as an easy day. Oh, my hand. Can't hardly move it once I do that. Squeeze this bottle. Whew, I need a new bottle. Something's easy. All right, let me look at the back side of this and see how, okay, it is that way. So I want it down like this. And then this will go over it like that. So, so pretty. Looks pretty good. Looks really good. There we go. Okay, it's down, down, down. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it. We are going to smush, smush, smush. This is really, really awesome. I love my paper that I, I, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show y'all the rest of it, but I just, it's just not time yet. It's just not time yet. I got to get it all together and put into the Etsy listing. It all takes a little time, but I couldn't wait to make this cover. Just couldn't wait. Just saying. All right, I'm pressing on the side where the spine is because I'm going to need that to stick down real, really well. Very, very good. Very, very good. Awesome. Love it. Love it already. I'm loving it already. And I'm going to stick that down very not tight as best I can. So I can get ready to fold it. I should wait until the glue is completely dry, but you know what? Does anybody ever do that? Does anybody ever wait? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever waits. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look! Oh my gosh! Look how pretty! <gasps> Y'all do know that I'm probably not going to put any lace right there because I'm not going to want to cover any of that up. <gasps> Look how beautiful! Oh my gosh. Okay, that's terrible of me, but I'm, I'm just in love with it. Yeah, okay, so I made the paper... And I'm saying it's beautiful. I'm not conceited. I just love this. This is my taste. This is my taste. This is my taste. So I'm going to hit this a little bit right there. That is so gorgeous, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm going to hit that right there. This is like, oh my goodness. I don't mean it to sound like, gosh, she's so full of herself. But I'm not. It's just that it's so pretty. It's my taste. So, I love it. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my word. That is so gorgeous. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. All right, I need to bend it this way a little so I can ink that. Love it, love it. Now let me bend this one and ink that. All right, got it. Got it. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, so now I want to put the elastic in. Um, I've learned um, I learned this technique from um, uh, Genevieve Designs. She um, she uh, did her wonderlust this way. So that's how I learned the um, t 
technique with the elastic. Love that. All right, so here we go. I'm going to find, wait, wait, wait. I need to sew around it real quick. Let me sew around it and, um, and go around the edges with this dark brown thread. And um, then I will put the elastic in, okay? So let me sew around it and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. It is done. I sewed all the way around the edges, all the way around. Super, super pretty. So, um, love that. I got pretty close to the edge, though. I think that's going to be okay. Whatever happens, it's fine. Love it, love it, love it. It's very pretty. So, let me um, now find the spot where I want to put my holes at. I'm going to put two holes. It will carry two signatures. So, um, let me find the middle and then I will put um, the holes right where I think I want them. There's that. Now let me put them this way, this side. <laughs> this way, this side. Okay, so. There we go. Good enough, I suppose. It's good enough. I'm going to use the small the small um, holes on here. There's that. Okay. Take all this layer out. And then do this one. that. Take this out. Okay, now let's do the other side. There we go. There's that. Get this out. And one more. Get that. is. I love making these covers. I know it sounds crazy, but I do. I love to make these covers. They're awesome. All right, here we go. So now I want to, um, there's the front. So, um, I am going to go through the side, the right side first. I'm at the top, and then I'm going to go through the left, the front side of the cover. Let me um, unwind a bunch of it. Okay, and now I'm going to come down and go out the um, front side of the cover. And then the back side, I'm gonna come back up through that little hole. And then here is the two signature sides, and I am going to cut that. All right, so let me pull it a little bit and get it as even as possible. Okay. All right, I'm gonna sew it, but I'll, I mean, tie it, but I wanna pull this where it's kinda snug, but not too awful bad. Not too awful, too awful bad. All right, there. Whoopsie. And then tie another knot. Tied in a knot. And 
find her S. Let me um let me undo that just a little bit because I want to tighten it just a little more. There we go. And then I'm gonna do one more knot in it because I want it good and snug. There it is, there it is. Two little, two, there we go. Love it, love it. There we go, there is the place where both signatures are gonna go. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. Mm, 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 mm. Love, love, love it. All right, y'all, so there is the cover. Let me kind of go over that white string a little bit I have it in black as well but I really like that um, the white one okay so there it is there is the cover it is not gonna go nowhere because that tie back is in there so it's 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 secure that is just gorgeous gorgeous so love it love it love it what do y'all think that's it Okay, so the next one that I'll make, um, I'll show you some of the pages that I'm going to put on the inside. Also, um, by then, hopefully, I will have all the uh, paper ready for my Etsy store, and I'll have that all. My store is linked down below, and there are um, a couple of uh, things in there now, so if y'all want to go check that out, I appreciate it. Also, you know that my Facebook page is brand new, so go check that out and um, help me uh, make it grow. So the link to that is down below. Then you can show me some of the projects that you're doing that maybe um, I have inspired you with. I would love that. So thank you so much. And also, if you don't mind, hit the little uh, subscribe button and the little dingling bell. And uh, <laughs> I know I'm whack. Uh, hit the little bell. Also give me a, a hit the like and uh, we're, I'm fixed up because of you. So thanks so much for all your help and hugs and kisses, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.